Hello everyone, flying high here at the Pilot Pilot School and today we're gonna do a quick tutorial on carrier launch or takeoff uh, I'm with my good friend here and wingman Cougar Ed Vega, he's on Reaper 204 as you can see beautiful Tomcat ready to go I'm in Reaper 203 also with my Tomcat Hawk and already uh, on ready to go we are on oh that was a sonic boom from a flyby that's nice oh and we are at cbn 74 the stennis this is a nuclear class carrier so let's hop in the cockpit and uh check this out all right so i'm sitting in the cockpit of my beautiful f-14 so i'm gonna say hi to my wingman here Hey Koo, how are you? You ready to head out? I'm good man, how are you? Hi. All good, all good my friend. We're ready to head out, so let's get our cats ready. And uh, you're going to be launching from Cat 1, we're going to be launching from Cat 2. We have our Tomcats already started up, so let's get going. Alright, so he made the call. Actually, I'm gonna move first. Uh, I'm gonna go taxi out to Cat 2. First of all, well, I have my Tomcat already on, as we said before. Just checking around that all my instruments are where they're supposed to be. I got my Radio 1 tuned on 306, which is gonna be the channel I'm gonna use for comms with my wingman. And Radio 2 set on preset 10, which is gonna be the independence radio, which is important so we can get. Uh, radio calls from our carrier. So I'm gonna go ATC. As you can see, John's tennis, and we can request startup. That's done. Have a Hornet. We just landed, and we are actually. gonna move head out to cat one so Ripper 203 and taxiing to cat two so first of all I need to make sure I have my nose wheel steering on it's a light there it's still sunny behind but you can see off and on nose wheel steering so I can actually taxi to cat two I'm gonna make sure also that well my wings are folded all the way back and I'm just gonna align right here I'm gonna align and then as if I had a yellow shirt I'm gonna hit the outside view so I'm actually gonna move forward a little bit until my wheel until my nose wheel gets to the launch bar over there well to the actually the shuttle that's right there so what I'm gonna do next is kneel down the cat so you actually need to get your your t-bar or a bar in the front wheel hooked to the carrier so you're gonna do that with this switch here first you need to go nose down as you can see my nose is moving down all right yeah all the way down and then if you look from the outside you can see that my nose is already down and now i'm gonna actually hook to the cut okay hooking Okay, hooking to the catapult. As you can see now the barriers are coming up behind me. The blast barrier so we don't blow anything behind us as we punch to mill power for takeoff. And you can see the T-bar is already hooked on the shuttle that's gonna throw us or pull us all the way there to the end of the deck. Alright, as you can see, Kuar is already hooked to the catapult. Alright, so 204 looks like you're ready Roger all right he's opening his wings 
He's got snap lights on. Then he's going to go flaps down. All right, his flaps are down. Okay, you look good, man. Just check trim. And you're going to be almost ready to go. I will let you know when to launch so I can go 10 seconds behind you, right? Make sure you do your alignment only, uh, your correction heading. Alright, so what I'm going to do first here, you know in the tomcat you can hide your stick so you can actually see your HSD over here. I'm going to punch it to Takan and it's already there so I can see I have the Stennis Takan here. And then what I like to do is actually check the heading and, and do my magnetic correction okay so i'm gonna actually look outside i'm gonna see that the boat is actually heading true heading is 307 and my plane is 305 i'm slightly two degrees it doesn't matter uh that's how the cats are done the cat bolts so i'm gonna hop in the cockpit roger that 204 i'm almost ready so what I'm going to do here is if it's 207, I'm going to move my course 7 degrees minus that. So I'm going to go to 301. You're going to see why I'm doing that. Because you need to do a magnetic correction to get the true course. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is actually move my compass here to DG or directional zero. So I can manually move my zero and correct it since we have some uh, let's say magnetic interference in the carrier we need to make sure that our heading is correct so our tape in the hood has to be match uh, or our heading in the map so what I'm going to do here is him tune I'm going to go to 298. All right. It's going to be 295. I need to move a little bit more. Press. Move around. right there that would be like 298 if you add 6 degrees which is a magnetic correction in this map you can see that if my true heading is 2305 then my magnetic heading minus 6 degrees should be 299 Roger almost ready I'm gonna get my wings set so the first thing after having all that done what I'm going to do is uh, actually get my wings ready to go wings open in manual okay I'm gonna open my wings So as you can see my wings are moving all right wings are out that's number one check now I'm gonna put my flaps down good flaps are down all right let me know check my speed brake Check my speed brake, my speed brake opening. Copy, speed brake up. Roger, speed brake in, checking my trim. Alright, trim is okay. Can put it just above zero. 
And that's it. That's going to be your pre takeoff check. It's going to be wings, flaps, trim. And our correction is good. We're hooked to the cat bolt. No lights on the Christmas tree. So, okay. Whenever you're ready, Coog, uh, let's go ahead and spool to military power. Alright, Cook, let's go spool to military power. Alright, so what we're doing here is actually starting the jet all the way to military power. 100%, you don't use afterburner in the F-14B, it's too powerful. The engine, it's gonna, you don't need that much power to take off. Uh, so first of all, what I'm gonna do is... Alright, yeah, check for a control swipe there, he's doing control swipe looking good, alright. Rodders are good, and then he's going to get the thumbs up, and he's going to salute and go. All right, whenever you're ready, man. Copy. Two zero four launching cat one. Yeehaw, here he goes. And he's off. And now, like almost ten seconds behind him. Now I'm gonna be launching in three. Two, one, let's go. And we're off. As we go off, we're going to turn left or right just to get away from the carrier. Uh, like 30 degrees, one or the other side. Uh, now I'm going to get my gear up. And my flaps up. And then now I can come back to the heading where I took off from, which is two two nine nine. Okay, so now what we're going to try and do is stay at 500 feet and 250 knots. I'm a little fast until we get to seven miles out. In front of the car, we're three miles out. We need to get seven miles out. This is just to clear all the uh, airspace because we might have uh, some guys uh, operating above 500 feet. Uh, so after that, when we get to seven miles out, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna just uh, get information with my body there, and we can go ahead and continue with our mission. So. All right, cool. So we're five. I'm five miles out. How far out are you? I'm at seven point three miles. Roger, continue on course. I'm gonna join up with you soon. I'm at six miles, one mile more, and that's it. So that was the uh, carrier launch tutorials. As you see, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So see you guys in the next video, and thank you, Cook. Alright guys, so that's us ten, uh, 8 miles out, so we can now go wherever we need to go, so that's good, and I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you soon.